So I feel like there's no closure with someone you feel can't be tamed. This is someone who is making something very complex or complicated with you through their selfish or greedy ways. In fact, I feel something is starting to collapse because of the secrets. And someone is coming out as the lonely one. Someone who is sitting in a space of terror because something is falling apart. All because of their selfish or greedy ways. For many of you, this is someone who can't be tamed and there is no closure, but I feel there's plenty of secrets for someone who is living a lie. I feel this is someone who is living a lie and trying to escape reality, escape reality through karmic ties, broken promises, and confusion and chaos. This is someone who is playing the waiting game through mind games, child's play, but it's only turning out to be a train wreck. Hmm. Wow. A train wreck of selfish desires. I feel like this is someone who is still wearing a mask a false representative of themselves, this energy is coming out as distorted and empty inside. A lost soul. Someone who is full of regrets because they know they're losing themselves. This is someone who knows they are losing self and making something more complicated through secrets, <sighs> chaos, and confusion. But I feel for many of you, it's very disappointing and hurtful to deal with, but I feel it's only leaving them distorted and empty inside because they're not doing the work. This is someone who is on the rebound, sweating because they didn't see something for what it was, regretting the fact that they didn't have a change of heart. In fact, this energy could be self-loathing and sitting in a space of self-pity because of running or insecurities but whatever they're dealing with it's real regrets that they're running from this is why this energy is living a lie being fake but only causing more wreckage more mayhem in the process for many of you this is someone who is used to the broken promises playing the games making you wait but something is now collapsing. And I also feel it's also tied to a karmic. A karmic situation, karmic ties, third party energies. Third party energies that are leaving them distorted and in a sense of reminiscing, daydreaming, fantasy. Hmm. I sense this is someone who's losing control spiritually and mentally and they know it i feel like this is someone who knows the path they chose over the stability you offered is the reason they're lost distorted and still playing games not just with you but with self yet i feel they're dealing with the beginning to an end that they've been trying to avoid for a very very long time and I feel for many of you, this energy thought that they were successful at escaping this reality, this false energy that has made them so comfortable. Hmm. So much so that they thought they were successful or winning, but it only deepened, deepened the pain. It deepened the pain and prolonged the chaos because now there's a lot of trust issues. Not just with you, but this energy has trust issues with everyone else as well. I feel like this is tied to reckless behaviors. Reckless behaviors of them thinking they were going to get away with something. I feel like this is someone who has reckless behaviors when it comes to fear. Fear of love, soul contracts. And this is why there is poor communication. But I feel this energy 
communicates fine when they want to, but I feel this energy is wanting to block out communication because they know they need to tell a naked truth. This is someone who is still stuck to some deep-seated ways or a guarded heart. And for some of you, a hardened heart. A heart that is now ice cold, negligent. I feel like this is someone who has abandoned their head of the heart energy through betrayals and trying to manipulate situations. I feel like this is someone who is choosing to manipulate situations, causing misery, nightmares, but I feel their biggest mistake is being two-faced, disloyal, unfaithful, and fake. Fake and phony has brought them to a space of rage and resentment, hmm. and even some heavy burdens. Heavy burdens attached to their insecurities, breaking points. Wow, this energy is going through a lot. Overthinking situations and mirroring things as well. Shame and guilt is attached to someone, but they are blinded by it. So much so that many of you had to cut the cord. You have to cut the cord and detach yourself from someone who is a complete wreck. This is someone who is a complete wreck emotionally. And they're suffering in silence, refusing to see a truth. In fact, I feel like this energy is mindless when it comes to direction. I feel this is intentional because this energy has commitment issues as well as doubt. But I feel their doubt is only leading them to a deep, dark space of depression. This is someone who is still sitting in a space of lies, trickery, and deception. I feel this is keeping them untamed and complicated and stuck to this false or empty reality. Hmm. I feel like these trust issues stem from their selfish desires, reckless behaviors, and the fact that they are always communicating from a side point of view, agenda, strategy. But I feel it's only making things worse. This energy is only making things harder by being a terror. Let's get a little bit more energy here on this video. This is a message here. This is someone who wants to stop, start over, but this energy is still in solitude. I feel like there's a good feeling that they're about to go through a dark night of the soul discovery. Someone's about to be pushed to a breaking point. This could be your energy or theirs, but this is a breaking point from an ending. Someone's watching. They're in solitude and they're waiting. Someone's watching, waiting in 3D energy. I feel like this energy is watching or waiting because they want to start over. But this, en this ending, it was brutal. As I said before, it's attached to a breaking point. Chaser energy, someone thought you were going to chase this connection. But I feel you did something different. Mirror energy here, solitude energy. You're okay with being alone or you're okay with being without them. I feel this could be a shock for them because they wanted the chase dynamic. I feel this is attached to the games that they try to play, making things more complicated than it needs to be. And I also feel this is their inner child. The inner child that is breaking promises and has a hardened heart. Hmm. Watching, waiting. Wow. I feel like whatever they were trying to avoid, they're now sitting in. They're sitting in whatever toxic energy they're trying to run from. And they know they only made things worse by losing you. Yet to cope with what they refuse to see, they are inflicting pain on others.
and engaging in toxic ways of being just to get through just to cope just to have a sense of peace or a false sense of peace that's keeping them lost complicated and distracted in fact this is someone who is coming out as unawakened unawakened when it comes to a divine feminine energy who they know they should be seeking some type of forgiveness when it comes to a union a soul contract even a past life but this energy has yet to level up this is someone who has yet to level up but you are reaching a higher self after a separation i feel like you are unattached when it comes to their choices their mixed signals and even this divorce or separation hmm. now someone knows they can't reach out <laughs> because they are unawoken afraid afraid of growth someone is afraid to do the work and this is why they're stuck stuck and bound to toxic ways of being loving and opening up to others I feel you are dealing with a runner someone who is not ascending yet this energy is obsessed with drama this energy is obsessed with drama and manipulating situations pretending as if something is a misunderstanding yet this energy is moving a free will this is someone who is repeating cycles addicted to chaos and there could also be an unplanned situation that's not for everyone but I feel there's an unplanned situation for a masculine energy who is attached to their own denial this is someone who is attached to strategy karmic relationships toxic energies and ego this is someone who is coming out as a false twin flame because they're hiding their truth. This is someone who is attached to lies, deception, and a very toxic ego. But I feel for many of you, something's about to happen very soon. But for now, this energy is silent and going through an awakening. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who's going through an awakening when it comes to rejection, being one-sided, but whatever's going on, it's, it's a gut feeling here. Because someone's about to go through a dark night of the soul, a painful transformation, something that was destined to happen, because someone's not letting go. This is a dark night of the soul where someone is going on a journey. This is why this energy is at a distance and coming towards them or accepting any offer it's just wrong timing hmm. someone's about to go through a dark night of soul when it comes to commitments choices and jealousy sending mixed signals when it comes to a separation there's no manifestation this is faded someone's about to see their purpose especially when it comes to discovering self and even you this is going to be painful because someone's going to be brought back to the memories. <sighs> to the memories of when you could recognize who they were. But I feel at this time, you barely even recognize their soul. But I definitely feel something's about to happen in divine timing. Something they cannot avoid. <sighs> and something they cannot run from. For some of you, someone could be waiting on some type of message from you, or could be wanting to message you. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more energy on that. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right in. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? I have a message here for the collective. Someone knows you're woke. 
someone knows you're woke to their betrayal. Even though this energy has been very mechanical with their emotions and not even very logical with the things that they say, you see right through something. Someone who is difficult to please and you no longer feel safe in their hands. But I feel they're still trying to avoid something. They can't copy something. They can't duplicate your energy. And you're starting to look very um, tempting to them. I'm not sure why, but this energy is coming towards you unhealed. <laughs> wow. For many of you, this energy of coming towards you unhealed, this could also be related to how they treated you when they had your attention. Because that is not your energy in, anymore. In fact, they're not even bothered by change. Or the guilt. Or the remorse they should have. This is why things seem mechanical. Their actions. Their emotions. <laughs> even their way of thinking. Because it's not making any sense here. It's not making any sense for someone who is firmly fixed on having their way. But as I said before, this is someone who is not bothered by their guilt or the remorse that they should be feeling. In fact, I just feel like they're more reckless because of their pain. <sighs> this is someone who is more reckless because of their pain their selfish desires or the fact that they try to handle things in a very toxic way which leads them nowhere love affair energy at the bottom of the deck emo energy emotional very dramatic hypnotic energy very wow There's a lot of highs and a lot of lows when it comes to this energy who can be very delusional at times. But there's a lot of secrets when it comes to sex. <sighs> Love affair energy here. Self-pleasures. Yeah. Definitely we feel this energy <sighs> loves the sense of self-gratification or being pleased. This is someone who's on the rebound. Pretending to be financially strapped or have investments because this energy is just a boy toy. <laughs> but I feel like they feel like it's their time to take a leap of faith or you only live once. This is why they're so toxic. Naive when it comes to affairs of the heart or just being lawless or reckless when it comes to flings. Thoughts. This is someone who's very toxic when it comes to flings and wild things. This is someone who has toxic energies on their mind, trying to finesse or start some type of cult. This energy has a lot of situations going on for and for some of you, it's a lot of babies. This could also just be responsibilities that are now weighing on them because they went the strategic way of doing things. It's only smoke and mirrors. I feel them being strategic is only smoke and mirrors because they will never be satisfied. <sighs> this is someone who likes to be followed or have a crowd, but they may be led by the wrong energies or they may be having the wrong ones follow them because this is someone who is in bad company and getting deeper, getting deeper into something that is just a scam. I feel this is someone who is in too deep and there is no way out. This is why they've been unresponsive. Hot and cold, having mental issues, feeling 
mentally disturbed in some type of way because they've been canceled. This is why this energy is numbing the pain in these harsh ways. Because they're salty, angry, bitter. Because these scare tactics that they have just doesn't work. Instead of unconditional love, this energy gave you toxic energy. Sucked you dry for all that you gave. Hmm. Now they think about running back to you. Hmm. Thinking opposites attract because you are the total opposite of this energy. Someone who now feels rejected, running, Still attached in some way to you, divine feminine energy. Hmm. But I feel for many of you, you have too much trauma, too much stress from being their help, their energy, their savior. Because for many of you, this is someone who wants to come back because they know you're loyal, but they're not. Someone doesn't want to just pop up. For some of you, that is the energy, but for others, I feel like they want to send a message to somewhat test the waters. But I feel something about you is intimidating. Something about you is intimidating, but when it comes to them, they're unchanged. I feel you have to cut the ties when it comes to this energy. Because there's a lot of disappointment. Others, they abandon you. And even if they walked away, you have to cut things off indefinitely. Because they have the tendency to repeat cycles. Return. Leave. And it's an ongoing situation here with this energy. Who obviously has some real issues. Issues that you can't tame. Issues that cannot be fixed unless this energy chooses to do so. But I feel this energy choosing to make these changes is a long shot. Because as I said before, they're just too comfortable. Too comfortable with leaving things behind, abandoning things that they feel is too hard to deal with. This is why they're hot and cold trying to finesse something and tapping into things that are leaving them lost, broken, and into deep. This is the final energy here. Holy Spirit, what is a message here? Even though this energy has been unresponsive, I feel like there will be a message here. A message coming soon after someone has been silent for a very long time. This is masculine energy here who seems to be intimidated by the fact that they went the wrong way. Now this energy is a little angry because they didn't expect to have to run back to you. I feel this expectation was thrown off because something was unexpected here. Something unexpectedly fell off. <sighs> and the type of betrayal that they left you in. <sighs> they felt like in due time you would let them come back. But something seems to be a little bit final here. Your energy is different. You're not looking at this energy the same. And <sighs> something about you being turned off is turning them on. This is someone who has a very toxic way of loving and being loved. Hmm. And I feel like it shows up in very toxic ways of deception or even demonic behaviors because to some extent, they like the chaos. They like the chaos because it takes the focus off of them, off of them and their shortcomings or the fact that they are still scared, hmm. scared of which direction to go because this energy is just still doing nothing, overwhelmed. 
too afraid to do something different. That's what I keep getting. They're too afraid to do something different. But being too afraid to do something different is only keeping them lost and confused and creating mental issues. This mental issues has come out twice in this reading. Someone is wrapped up in their emotions, wrapped up in their thoughts, and it's only making things worse. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who is bipolar, and they don't even know it. If they are aware of it, it's just getting worse because they're tapping into the wrong side of themselves. It's just lies and love bombing. This energy has a lot of competition going on whether that's competition coming from others around them or this energy trying to place competition in your life. But this energy is used to telling lies and putting keys in others back. Fabricating the truth, telling story, stories and trying to antagonize those they try to keep hostage. For many of you, this is why it feels like they hate you so much. They always find a way to tear you down or break your spirits or attempt to this is just to keep you hostage keep you attached to them hmm. but something here is falling apart someone felt like they were too big to fail this energy felt like they were too big to fail because they're a smooth talker a smooth talker when it comes to lies and deception but as I said before, something is about to happen very soon. Just because someone's too afraid to do something different, they're about to get caught in some type of thirst trap. Whatever type of trap is connected to their lies. It's connected to their lies in some type of clickbait. Something that was irresistible when it comes to temptation. But I feel it will only leave them cursing themselves because it's a bad decision. A decision they will soon regret. Someone thought they were too big to fail and they could care less about their toxic ways until all of this unfolds. Because someone's about to be exposed and this inflated ego is about to be deflated. Someone thought they were too big to fail, but it's going to fail. Something's about to come crumbling down. For many of you, there is underlying issues where someone is doing too much. And them overdoing something is going to call retribution here. Someone also could be sending you the evil eye or they could be getting that energy. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But I definitely feel someone's cleaning house. That could be your energy or someone else. Please take it how it resonates. But someone could be taking action here. This energy is burnt out. Hmm. Completely burnt out and burdened. For some of you, you're living rent free in their head. And others, this energy is about to be homeless. If they are not already sitting in that energy, someone's about to have some issues when it comes to their stability. And even some court issues, someone may need to lawyer up. But regardless of the fact, someone is refusing to answer questions and someone's about to be triggered. Something's about to be set off when it comes to affairs of the heart, and it's going to be a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow when it comes to this energy. <clears throat> Dirty money is involved as well. So as I said before, this energy is about to come up short. For some of you, if this energy is having problems with their stability due to finances, they're about to do something dirty for money or funny for money <laughs> but there is definitely financial abuse burdens when it comes to stability and the fact that they were irresponsible this is what's going to bring this wrecking ball someone has their ear out for something there's theft when it comes to someone's identity 
Someone's leaving you on red because of the troubles they're going through. Someone's really disappointed in who they trusted. Something is definitely getting out of control and someone feels like they're being singled out. Every man is for themselves. Someone is definitely trying to live off of them. Fancy living. Someone trusted the wrong energy here and they got played big time. They got played big time and they are not even seeing it yet. They're making excuses because they are the ones who are used to breaking hearts. Now this energy may be sitting in the energy of that feeling burnt out. Feeling like they're having excessive baggage when it comes to affairs of the heart because they're locked down more than usual. But as I said before, something is about to be set off. You're living written free in someone's head and someone is taking the bait. Someone has already done this. They have already done something that they can't take back. And for once, it has nothing to do with you. For many of you, this is third party energy. Someone did something they can't take back and they're going to pay the price for it. This is retribution, poetic justice for someone who has a very inflated ego. This is someone who is cursing themselves through their temptations, taking the bait, thirst traps, lies. Because someone's doing it too much, thinking they can't get caught. Someone's trespassing or doing something um, that is against the law here. We're going to grab a different deck here to get a bit more confirmation. Um, yeah, we'll take this deck here. This is someone with a God complex who feels like they have dodged a bullet when dealing with the situation. There's no apologies. This energy is thinking they just can get away with something. This energy is sitting on the throne thinking that they are superior to consequences. But something is about to be exposed. This energy thinks they dodged the bullet, but they have not. As, as I said before, they already took the bait. Someone took the bait because of their inflated ego. They thought that they were sitting on top of the world. Someone thought that something was too good to be true, and it was. But they already took the bait. Now something is about to be set off. I feel something is about to be set off because this person's an idiot. This energy feels like something has been given to them. They feel like they've been blessed with something or something has fallen into their lap, not even realizing it's their karma. <laughs> their karma in real life, true life form here. For someone who is completely guilty and worthy of the karma. This is someone who's going to end up begging for forgiveness. Because whatever they've done, they're completely guilty of. There's a lot of lies. Blackmail. Vandalism. And this energy is about to know their place. And it's not sitting on this throne. This is someone who is very irresponsible, but they pretend that they're not. They're very stubborn to their harsh ways. And this is the reason why they have yet to reconcile or make anything better in their life. Because they're still sitting in a space where they believe life is going to supply them with all they need. But I feel this energy is only lying to themselves. They're very guilty of this unfinished business, resentment, and shape-shifting. Because you never know what you're going to get when dealing with them. There's no trust. Yet this energy is pretending to be sick over you, but this energy is non-committal. As I said before, there's unfinished business here and they know it. They know they're lost, but they're doing nothing about it. This is someone who thought you were going to chase, like I said before, the dynamic that they thought they were going to have with you just isn't what they thought it was going to be. For some of you, you tried, you tried to reconcile, you gave this energy an olive branch and they completely 
blew it. I feel the more you try to make things right with them, the more it got to their ego, which is truly inflated. Trust me. But I feel this is why they are a karmic partner, always taking advantage of you and abusing the connection, all because of their own insecurities. Now they're abusing alcohol or some type of other numbing of the pain arguing with others hmm. delusional energy here someone's insinuating you are foolish someone's insinuating you're a fool but they were the ones giving the fake love now this energy is losing sleep over the karma losing sleep over the third party energy as well this third party energy is coming out as a phantom third party. So what I'm getting with that is someone who doesn't want to be seen. This energy is there for a short time, not a long time. This energy is keeping this superior energy in a space where they're not happy. But they're not moving. They're not moving because of their inflated ego, but this third party is like a brick wall as well. They're not getting through to, to them. They're also abusing some type of substance and rejecting. Hmm. Guarded heart, love bombing. So before in the reading, I said the more that you distance yourself from them, the more they want you, the more they desire your attention. I feel the third party knows that as well. They're using this against them. They know they're not happy. But they give a little just to get a lot. They love bomb this energy. And then they become a brick wall. A brick wall that is guarded. And it only kind of taps on their ego. It makes them try harder. It makes them try harder when they're rejected. But I feel this confusion within this third party situation is very toxic. There's a lot of hidden agendas. And as I said before, there's a lot of unfinished business, not just with you, but there's a lot of disconnect when it comes to things they're avoiding. But as I said before, it's only bringing the karma. It's only bringing more pain. It's only bringing more pain because they're sitting in this space of resentment. And the resentment is taking them nowhere. In fact, it's just making them more chaotic, more abusive to you and anyone else that tries to love them. Because this energy is just stubborn. Too stubborn to see a truth. This is why they're always being irresponsible, vandalizing, blackmailing, and dodging the bullet. Or so they think. This is someone who feels like they're getting away with something, but they're not. Let's get some final energy here. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? So for many of you, this energy has definitely got the signs way before now to reconcile with you. But this energy just doesn't have the tools. They're coming out in denial and still sabotaging things with you. They're not just sabotaging things with you. They're abandoning a lot of things because they have trust issues and no clarity because deep down they don't even feel they're worthy. This is someone who is trapped and this is self-imposed. This is someone who is trapped by this self-imposed energy because they refuse to apologize. They refuse to step up because they feel like it's being weak. When I feel it's just the opposite. Reconciling and causing balance is going to be very complicated for someone who is stubborn and going through karma. This is someone who has a lot of trust issues, afraid of being hurt. This energy ends up hurting others.
But as I said before, this is taking them nowhere. Being in denial. Having low self-esteem. Anything that's complicated blocks them. Whether it's getting their ID or whatever. They're always making excuses not to complete something. This is why there's no completion with you. This energy is about to be taken through a heavy sense of karma when it comes to denial, completing, reconciling, causing balance, being stubborn, being worthy of the truth. This transformation, this energy is about to go through is very harsh. And this is something I would never recommend or even put on my worst enemy. This energy is about to get it in the worst way possible. This is karma. <laughs> This is karma on another level. Karma on another level when it comes to someone's cloudy judgment and their desires. This is going to be hardship, pain. The energy of them being trapped right now is just the beginning. It's just the beginning for someone who's a coward and always is taking the easy way out. This is someone who always takes the easy way out when it comes to deceptions. They have no boundaries. This energy has no boundaries. And they're about to be triggered. I feel like this energy has no boundaries when it comes to family. Or even how they choose to break hearts. Because trust me, it's a choice. This is someone who is sitting in a lack mindset. But this energy is just sitting in their pride, not compromising. But I feel this karmic partner is leaving them overwhelmed. So what I'm getting here with the karmic partner energy, this could be multiple partners for some of you. This energy is lawless when it comes to sex, putting their energy into so many sexual partners because they are trying to drown out the pain but there is someone here karmic energy has purpose even though this energy is about to receive their own pain this karmic energy is about to serve up some hot energy here that's the best way i can put it karmic energy is about to hit the ego someone's about to be very overwhelmed in their own chaos a chaos that they have been very comfortable with. Comfort zone. Someone's been so comfortable in their chaos and walking away from situations that they're detached. However, so is this karmic third party energy. But I feel karma is real big in this situation. I've been getting that from the beginning of this reading. Karma, karma, karma for someone who is comfortable, no compromise and detaching. This is someone who is overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by a mess they caused. A mess they created because they couldn't be transparent with self, you, anyone else. This is why they can't find a sense of completion. But I feel this is someone who's about to learn a very valuable lesson when it comes to being vulnerable. When it comes to be being vulnerable or just simply confessing and admitting the truth. This is someone who needs to make a confession and be vulnerable when it comes to a twin flame energy. Mm. But I feel like this energy is in a very dark space where they just don't see the truth. Someone's about to get a harsh lesson when it comes to self-deception, boundaries. This is going to be triggering because they might not get the forgiveness that they seek, but I feel it will put them in a space to find a sense of spirituality. Because trust me, after this karma, they're going to be searching for it. Someone's going to be overloaded. So much so that they're going to be pushed to a crossroads. Hmm. A crossroads that they have been brought through through negligence, 
addictions, passions, and desires. This is someone who rolled the dice, who's about to get a rude awakening when it comes to stability, avoiding the truth, and their own intentions, because they will end up surrendering. But for many of you, this energy is still sitting in a space of solitude because they're dealing with their karma. This could be karma through third party energy or karmic families. Please take it how it resonates, but this divine energy is about to realize the truth when it comes to suppressing thoughts, emotions, and regrets. Someone's doing it the hard way. And what I mean by that is um, someone's trying to get to a certain point, but they have taken the long way to do it. This is someone who took a, a dangerous route to get what they wanted in life, but it's only making things way more complicated than it needs to be. But as I said before in this reading, this is someone who is used to the comp to the chaos. There's no compromise. This is what they do intentionally. They come, they make these problems through self sabotage and low self esteem, keeping this cloudy space of judgment. But it's keeping them trapped as well. It's keeping them trapped and feeling unworthy. But I feel it's of their own doing. Because they fail to see the signs. Now this energy is having to pay off a karmic debt that is owed. Hmm. This could be owed from past life or energy from this life. But this energy has to pay their due. For many of you, this is someone who never saw something coming. As I said before, this their deceptions, it's a history of it. This vandalism, it's of their life. This is what their life looks like. Because they are always abandoning things out of fears and embarrassment. This is why there is no balance. Just hardship. Hardship for them and anyone who tries to connect themselves while they're lost and sitting in this hateful space exaggerating or fabricating their life even their accomplishments just so they can charm their way through life by seducing others to exploit them this is someone who likes to exploit their conquest and deny what they know to be true by lying and conning others because the way they view loyalty and love bears little resemblance to the truth or reality where this energy is constantly marketing themselves to keep their options open and to be honest this energy isn't trying to link and make love or have some type of deep bond this energy is reckless running wild and breaking hearts which may be coming to a harsh conclusion very soon because there's a lot of karma and as I said before this energy they have to pay the piper this is someone who is going through a lot of reckless energy here and they don't see this in coming their way but I feel like it's supposed to be this way this energy is supposed to be blind to their karmic end because trust me, it's going to hit them hard and they won't see it coming. As the chaos they've gotten so comfortable in has also brought about some bad habits that will eventually leave them in deep regret that they never took the time to change or make amends with you as the attention they've been seeking is about to have them center stage because to distract themselves of 
what they no longer have. They're out there bad. Someone's out there bad, reckless, running wild with their energy, not really looking at what they're doing. And it's just making their karma, their consequences worse. Just trying to numb the pain of what they've lost and what they feel they're losing. Hmm. You know what? Um, let's get a little deeper with this. Here. Let's get a little deeper with the energy here, spirit. Let the messages here. Someone's definitely a class act here. This energy is struggling to hold on to self and anyone else. This is why they're always constantly hitting a dead end. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone with addictions and desires that are never quenched. And whether it's mentally, physically, or financially, they have a destructive way of getting their needs met where they're known for taking risk and living a life filled with lies. This is someone who is used to living their life full of lies and deception. And since they only care about self, your needs and feelings have fallen on deaf ears. This is why there's so many hardships and challenges when dealing with them. Because you're dealing with someone who is unawakened and talking in circles, talking over you, not wanting you to complete your thought or your sentences because they know you're spitting complete facts. This is someone who has bad time management and they think they know it all. Hmm. This is someone who feels they know it all. But I feel they're too smart for their own good. This is someone who's very touchy about the way they choose to do things because they know they're living a lie, misrepresenting themselves. They just don't like to feel like they're second best. But I feel this is someone who is faking it for the clout. And this is why they're tied up in some type of scheme and in bad company. These are energies that they can't trust, yet they have given all their trust or energy to. And if not, someone has definitely found a way. Because this energy who won't commit is completely stressed right now. This is someone who is on the fence, believing they have options. Thought they were leveling up. And whoever they're dealing with, they also feel superior or superficial in some way because they have crowned themselves. <coughs> <coughs> I feel like this third party has crowned themselves because they is just they are just as delusional as who they're dealing with. There is public shaming. Hmm. And this energy is being used for their resources, but they're too vain to see it. This energy is playing dumb. Playing dumb, and they have some un very unhealthy boundaries. Hmm. Someone is definitely pushing the limit here. Loki hating someone is definitely trying to wait for the right opportunity to do something. This is someone who is on the outside looking in. This is third party energy who is acting like they don't even know them. This could be their energy as well being petty. They've done something that they're now acting like they don't know the third party. Hmm. Wow. But I feel like this is just them living in their fantasy because the situation is like a ticking time bomb ready to explode. Someone's about to be dumped or put in handcuffs. But I feel either way, something is about to be a final destination. 
this doomsday energy of someone who didn't consider a truth or consider the facts because they were too busy playing dumb to a situation and being played for their resources. This is someone who is being vain, too busy to realize that they were being hated on. They were thinking they were leveling up when they were definitely taking a downgrade, especially when it comes to your energy here. As I said before, they're in bad company and they're stressed because these non-committal ways that they have are now what they're dealing with. In so many ways, someone regrets being so toxic, so disloyal, so broken, because what they have broken is not just within self, but also with you. Now they're dealing with third party energies or people they don't trust just to have some type of stability or a sense of being, but they're being played. This is some kind of energy here, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this energy is still playing dumb. This energy is playing dumb to the fact that they know they cursed themselves. They got caught in some type of situation and they feel belittled. No longer on a mission. Someone feels like they're going to have to put in some work. But this energy was so selfish and ungiving that it will be hard to make amends with those they, bur they have burnt bridges with. There's no balance with this energy and it's going to be very hard to reconcile. As I said before, they need to be focused. Focused on this karma. Because even though they're not looking for it, it's looking for them. Oh, wow, this is someone who needs to stop pretending before it's too late. They just don't want to be wrong, but they know they're not right. Wow, it's just a dead end. Whatever they're dealing with, it's just a dead end. They're just too dumb or blind to see it, but it's just going to take them to a very scary place. This energy is somewhat hypersexual, and they could be giving into that. Boasting about it. Boastful energy here is at the bottom of the deck. And they could be guarding their phone. Someone could be guarding their phone and looking older than what they truly are. Or very stressed because of what they're dealing with. They're trying to be flashy. Boastful. Trying to regain some type of sense of power. But they can't pretend anymore. It's too hard. It's too much to deal with. And as I said before, it's just a lot of karma. Just a lot of debt that they're paying off and they're not seeing it. They just feel like they're being singled out. But in fact, this energy is dealing with their karma and the evil spirits that they have chosen to surround themselves with. This is someone who is very boastful, cruel, degrading at times, through throwing shade. Giving their opinion. <laughs> this is someone who states their opinion as if it's facts. But I feel this is someone who is still sticking to the script when it comes to their unfiltered chaos. This is someone who is still sticking to the script when it comes to the chaos that they bring. Because they're still faking something. Still trying to pretend like they're not bothered when they're completely sitting in misery. This is someone who kind of gets off on the chaos. As I said before, this is someone who is big-headed. Big-headed and unapologetic for it. But I feel them not being sorry or remorseful for the chaos that they bring is only going to bring them more karma to pay. This is someone who's been unapologetic when it comes to love. They just keep acting like trash. Someone who is hypocritical, self-righteous, a hoe. This is someone who is an undercover hoe being ratchet, unforgiving energy who is very vindictive when it comes to 
being degrading or throwing shade. This is someone who is very cruel when they want to be. But I feel this energy is starting to understand their dead weight. Either that energy or they're starting to understand that their party is dead weight. That they're understanding they're being burdened or whatever they're dealing with is heavy to carry because of their twisted beliefs. This is someone who wants one of each. Living in a fantasy, unhealthy boundaries. Thinking they're leveling up, but this energy is easily misguided in vain. Dealing with a copycat energy, someone's going to jail <laughs> or getting dumped. And time is ticking. As I said before, something's about to blow up right in their face and go up in flames. Because the destination is nowhere. For being petty and toxic, someone thought that they were going to get away with whatever they thought they were going to get away with. But that is not the case. Not at all. Someone was very unapologetic for the things that they were doing. But they're about to meet some harsh consequences here. Someone should have never been boastful. Someone said something about something they did and they were boastful about it. And this is something that also got them caught. They're trying to play dumb to what they have done, but someone has facts. Cold, hard facts. Someone could be going to jail hell or whatever else here but we're fi we're about to find out here let's get some more energy here Holy Spirit. what are the messages here okay whoa okay let me see where this is going this is someone who is shallow and arrogant as as i said before this is someone who is um pleasing to the eye or very charmful this is someone who is very charmful or very ple pleasing to the eye or they smell really good, but this energy could be fine, fine, like really um, pleasing to the eye. But they're definitely dealing with some very toxic energies here. Someone's dealing in the devil's pot with their choices. Someone's doing things excessively and they could be dealing with... Um, some things that can get them caught up by the law. They could be dealing with some younger people or um, taking advantage of someone who they shouldn't. But someone is definitely sitting in a space where they're going to regret the choices that they have made. <sighs> There's drinking involved with these bad choices. But someone is feeling shallow, arrogant, and, and entitled. This energy feels like they should have the things that they are seeking. Hmm. <sighs> But I feel whatever they are seeking is about to get them caught up in the worst way. Someone needs to stop pretending, stop pretending and acting. Because if they don't put a stop to their actions, it's going to lead them to some heavy, heavy truths. Some truths that they won't be able to, to deny or undo. As something will be final. For some of you, this energy is, as I said before, hypersexual, and they target anything, young, old, male, female. This energy has no limit as they take what's available. Yet, I feel some, some here seem pressured here. Hmm. I feel like somewhere in the process of having their way, they went too far. Putting them in a position of being arrested, beat up, or tied to lasting consequences here. Where they watch the games they play slowly fall apart. And karma gets them used to how things are going to be from now on. And as I said before, when karma hits, it's going to... Put them in a position where it's not pretty much rock bottom. This is the lowest of the low. This is a position where someone won't be able to talk their way out of this. There's no way out. There is no saving them if they don't stop now. But I feel you're dealing with someone who is very chaotic, impulsive, and thinking that they don't have to change. But I feel these changes 
Hmm. They're going to change them. But it may be too late when it comes to the consequences. Because as I said before, this karma is coming out several times in this read and there's no balance within reconciling with this energy who is completely into themselves and what they want, not what they need. And that's, that's where they're going to fall off because they are too into their style or their swag. What people think of them, someone is doing things the wrong way, headed down a wrong path because they know they they know that they are not the settling type, and this is why they're toxic. Someone knows they're not the settling type, and they are doing whatever it takes to stay in that space. This is someone who relies on their swag, their style, their charisma to get what they want. This is why they're slow to commitment, slow to seeing a truth slow to being who they should be instead of giving in to what's easy or familiar. <laughs> this is someone who is coming out in the reverse because they're being stubborn to their own light, still being jealous and controlling, still being too much when it comes to the streets. <sighs> Always wanting more because it's familiar. I feel like this is someone who is good with the words when they want to be because it makes them feel powerful to deceive others through just fabricating a story or their energy. But it's all about instant gratification. Sex. I feel for many of you, it's easy to fall for this energy as well as also be hit with a heavy load of what the fuck? Because this energy is always making something very complicated, hitting you from a space of disappointment, blinding you by their toxic ways. This is someone you were attracted to mentally, physically, but this energy is very spontaneous when it comes to being reckless. <clears throat> but I also feel like they have the gift of gab. This energy is coming out being very uh, strategic when it comes to their words. And they're very flirty. They move very fast as well. And they don't care when it comes to different ethnic backgrounds. As I said before, this is someone who will take more than one. Doesn't really matter what they give into. As I said before, this is someone who doesn't matter if they're male, female, old, young, slim, trim, curvy, busty, all natural, slim, big, booty. They don't care. They don't care if this energy is disabled mentally or physically. This energy gives into anything. But as I said before, this energy should have been a queen or a king, but their vibes are off. They have given into this toxic energy, relying on their looks or their charm or what they think they have. Whatever they're boasting about, they're losing. This is someone who is losing in the worst way. More ways than one because they've been too stubborn yet never honest or open. I feel like these stubborn ways of being are attached to them just not being ready, being too used to being toxic, false, or for the streets. But I feel this is big energy, real big energy that you bring, where someone is realizing you found a sense of peace. You have found a sense of peace, even though there is no closure with this energy who is still reckless and spreading themselves thin, spreading themselves wherever they can. For some of you, they could be expecting. And for others, this is someone who is not even trying to ground themselves. They're still irresponsible and placing the blame on anything and anyone else. But I feel for many of you, you know intuitively what you're dealing with. Now, don't get me.
get me wrong. You've seen this energy get over and through a lot, seeming to have no consequences. You have to understand, karma is patient. Karma is patient when we are not. And I feel like it has a way of kind of sticking it to someone who thinks they have gotten away with it all. I feel you have to understand that karma strikes at a time where someone feels most comfortable and unaware. But I feel it would be just as chaotic and unpredictable as they are or has always been. As it seems they're happy and getting away with pure evil. They're not just lost in a sense of delusion a delusion that is about to have a very very harsh ending because once karma hits there's no going going back this is someone who's going to wish they realized the truth when they had the chance but this energy was just too stubborn to realize what they had with you we're going to get a couple of cards here from this deck. Mm. Wounded energy here of, of someone having night terrors, lusting, intense desires. Hmm. Someone who can't give in to the true love energy because they're too toxic to do so. To do that, this energy would have to be authentic, and that is something that they do not possess. This is someone who knows that you are a healer, you are empathic in some type of way, and others, you're just coming out as a magician, a high priestess energy, someone they should have never tried. But I feel like you're dealing with a foolish energy who is used to taking impulsive risk, but I feel... This was a risk they should have never taken. In fact, the risk they took after you was their downfall. Someone's trying to guard their phone, pretending not to be affected by their lustful ways. Something is coming back to haunt them. I feel like they're getting some type of messages through their phone. Whatever it is, it's, um, it's starting to get a reaction out of them. It's causing some night terrors. Losing sleep here with this nine of swords energy. Hmm. This energy is coming out with worries here with the Nine of Swords energy. They're worried about what's being seen on the phone. They're haunted by it. Someone wishes they never played dumb to something. This is definitely giving them heartache or a headache. But I feel it's also... A soulful lesson. A soulful lesson about these pleasures. These pleasures and these risks that they like to take. Hmm. Because there's no love here. There's a lot of lustful energy, self-love. That's not there. This energy is doing a lot of masturbation as well. Please check out how it resonates. But this energy likes the instant, instant gratification. And this is why they're dealing with what they're dealing with. They can't talk their way out of this. They're being petty. They're slacking off at work if they even have a job, but they have cursed themselves through their own betrayal. This is why karma is here. For some of you, karma is already walking through their life right now. Hmm. Yep. Family problems that they're trying to reject or not give in to. Hmm. They can't make any terms from this. This is someone who has very toxic behaviors. They're trying to avoid something after playing the field. Having immature behaviors. Now there's family problems, generational trauma, cultural differences here. Conflicts and beliefs when it comes to a feminine energy. But someone knows that you are the one that got away. You're coming out as a twin flame, a divine counterpart, a mirrored energy. Someone knows that you match a different frequency that they don't possess, but someone was trying to pretend. 
This is why they came out as a false twin flame. Someone wanted to pretend they matched their energy, but the energy that they brought was not equally yoked to yours. Five of Swords energy here, Five of Cups as well. This is extreme regret. Someone is now crying over spilled milk. There's a pause in their life. Someone's in hermit mode because they feel lost. Someone feels lost and they're trying to act like they're in a different space when they're completely stagnated and confused. They're lost when it comes to family. And there's no love, wherever they are. Just wishful thinking. Wishful thinking when it comes to those they chose to trust. Third party energies here who are making them more insecure than what they were before. If this energy had trust issues, it's really bad now. It's no secret. I feel like it's no secret that this energy is in hell, misery, and seeking validation. Because they're dealing with some very deep scars here. Because things are spiraling and spiraling. Spiraling out of control because this energy won't be able to rebuild what's crumbling. Crumbling before their eyes. Someone chose not to transform. Now this energy is submerged in their own misery. Someone is submerged in their own misery. Sitting in a space of wishful thinking. <laughs> Knowing you're the one that got away. This energy knows they should have never left. But I feel everything has a reason for it. And now someone's regretting the fact that they played with you. Because now that they played with you. They don't know how to get over you. Someone knows that they deceived you in the worst way. And... They're just trying to figure some things out. But this energy is coming up short because the deception lies with them. Not, not with you. I feel like this is someone who is going to get a heavy load of karma. I feel what they're going through right now is just the peak. The, the start of things. But what's about to come their way is somewhat heartbreaking. To see that someone has to go through this to see a truth. I feel like karma's about to hit them where it hurts. So much so that they're going to wish they never imagined you as anything other than wonderful. As karma is nature's way of payback. Balance. Let's get some final energy here so I can let you guys go. <laughs> Yeah, this energy is completely dragging things along, wanting to root out, but they know they can't. Something is holding them back because of what they last did or something they last said to you. Someone rejected an offer. Wow. I feel like you offered something with love. Complete love, affection. Someone re rejected you, knowing all you want is a true commitment, loyalty. An apology, at the very least, because this is someone who owes you a lot. But I feel for many of you, there is no second chance here. And they know it. This is why they act so recklessly. This is why they're so toxic, thinking that they are hurting you by being so lawless with themselves. They're only hurting them. They're only affecting their own legacy. <sighs> Creating damage in their life that is going to be very hard to heal. But as I said before, this is someone who thinks they know it all. This is why they have failed to reconcile. This is why they have failed to change. But I feel them dragging something out or flexing on you is just leading them nowhere. It's taking them nowhere trying to create these situations with you because you're used to them being so spiteful at this point because as i said before you trying to create some type of love or energy with them 
only make them more toxic because they always put money first. But I feel we're stepping into a season of relationships. It could be cold outside. It's cold, cuffing season and someone is looking for somewhere to settle. But I feel this energy is pissed, upset because there's no way, there's nowhere to lay their head or nowhere safe. They were catfished. <laughs> this energy was catfished and they're pissed about it. They're embarrassed because of their finances and the fact that they were addicted to sex. Someone feels very embarrassed for being a single parent or spreading their seed so thin. Someone's wanting to bounce back. They're on standby. They're waiting for you to reach out. But I feel they could be in a friend zone or not at all. Someone may even look at you as a sneaky link or um, someone they can flex with or on. But someone has their facts wrong. <sighs> this is why they're sitting in a, a dramatic situation that they can't release. There's relationship drama here. And I feel like in time, in due time, it's all going to flatline. It's all going to fall apart. And they're just dragging it on. Prolonging the pain. Prolonging the terror. But it's doomed to fail. Because it should have never started. This was someone who was all about the sex. Now they have fallen into a trap. A trap of misery. And for many of you, this energy got... They got it bad. This energy is very emotional and trying to hide it. They know they fucked up. They know they screwed up their life. They know they screwed up everything with you. Everything that you offered, everything that you gave is no longer the same. <clears throat> There's no love. No happy family. <clears throat> and they're not living their best life. They're just dealing with blings, pretending they're happy with what they have when they're completely lost. Living in a fantasy. And needing to drop the attitude. Because they feel like they have some type of big dick energy. Someone is trapped in a fantasy and still trying to strategize. But the strategy is going nowhere. But this energy was never sorry about being community dick. Or having community sex. Or having these one night stands. But I feel like these one night stands are soul snatching. They should have healed. Yet this energy was being selfish. Now this energy is being hated in so many ways. The vibe has changed. And for many of you, you're not interested. You're not interested and you're falling back because this energy is too wishy-washy. And someone's dirty laundry is now being exposed. Someone wants to call if they haven't already. I see emails, someone trying to reach out at you because you've already blocked them. Someone's definitely feeling the vibe and they don't like it, but they are the ones who created the sabotage. They just don't like the consequences. But as I said before, karma is nature's way of making it right. Bringing some type of balance to a situation where someone thought that they were going to get away with their evil ways. But as I said before, this energy is about to be brought out of their delusion and confusion in a very, very toxic way. Hmm. Because the energy they're putting out is about to be the very thing that they'll, be, they'll consume or be receiving. Because I see it coming back to them in a very unexpected way. Yet karma or not, one thing's for certain. They still have to answer for what is seen or unseen as the Most High sees all. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.